All right, we are gonna talk about using a hot glue gun safely. Despite the fact that it is gun in its name, we do not shoot it at anyone at any point for any reason. When you are working with the hot glue gun, you always wanna make sure that you have something down on your table because it will occasionally drip glue and it is a giant pain in my bottom to scrape it up. And I will make it be a giant pain in your bottom if you're making me scrape it up. Uh, this is our hot glue gun. Now, I have several different styles in class, so yours probably won't look like this one. I don't have many of this. Um, it has a trigger. That's how you push the glue forward. You load the glue back here. We have these little sticks. We have lots and lots of sticks, I promise. Uh, this is the hot end. Do not touch the hot end. End of sentence. Do not touch. Now, if you want to see, like, hey, I don't know if it's heated up or not, hold the barrel here just lightly. You can start feeling it get warmer out here if it's heated up enough. And then on your paper, you can just do, like, a little test squeeze and, like, oh, yeah, there's some hot glue there. Great. When you are using this, again, we always set it down so there's something underneath it. We also set it down so that it's not accidentally going to hit somebody else's elbow or arm or whatever. We don't want hot glue burns in weird places. Um, when you unplug this, you need to make sure you actually pull the plug, not the cord, to pull it out. You will have uh, extension cords leading to your table, so you should be able to be sitting at your seat comfortably using the hot glue gun. Um, when we're done, the paper, if we're using paper or I have some cardboard and stuff at school that I sometimes use, um, we'll either pile those up on the side or whatever. These, you're going to wrap the cord around so they all are nice and tight and they get back in the box where we got them from. So that's the generals of using them. When you want to assemble stuff, I have little thimbles. They're little protector caps that go on your fingers to keep you from burning your fingers. I'm not going to force you to use them unless you repeatedly burn yourself and then I will force you to use them. Um, I left them at school so I'm not going to show you what they look like because I forgot them. Um, but I just wanted to show you a little bit about putting some pieces together. So I have a bunch of pieces here. Now, when we look, the ends of these are round. Trying to get things to stand up on a round thing is not always the easiest. It will work if you have enough other supports. Anything that has like three legs is going to be the most stable. Anything with like more, like an even number tends to get that lopsided. You know how our chairs rock, like those stools, they have four legs and they rock back and forth. That's, that's why. Um, when you are working, it's generally not a great idea to try to like glue together the thin sides of these. It's possible. It's just a little bit harder and it's not quite as stable because they want to bend and flex and stuff. If you're putting thick side to thick side, it'll stay or thin side to thick side, it'll stay. It'll just be a little bit more sturdy. Maybe you don't want it to be sturdy and you want to do thin to thin. That's fine. But like, just know that going in. When you are putting your pieces together, if you want it to be level, so it's not like gonna be like slowly lopsiding and falling over, you need to make sure that you're balancing where you connect them. So this is my little three here, and it's kind of like weaving. If this end goes over, so if I pull this up a little closer, so you can actually see. If this end here is going over this one, when you get to the other side of this stick, so this stick is over here, it needs to go under here. So that way this stick is over here and it's gonna go under here. I know it's kinda hard to show. The other thing is some of you are gonna wanna do like big flat panels. And again, you just said Miss Stockbridge, doing end to end is not a good idea. How do I do a big flat panel? You can line them up like this, take your lovely hot glue gun, and just go across the whole panel and this will glue them together. Now obviously you want your design so that this is like the back and that this is hidden because this is kind of sloppy. So unless you're going to put another one on top of here and very quickly be like bloop, 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 with those sound effects, of course, you have to. Um, it's going to look a little messy. Once this dries, I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Just kidding. This is still drying, but I wanted to show you about cutting popsicle sticks. So. You can use regular scissors, it's just kind of difficult. The strongest part of your scissor is this part right here next to where the screw is, as far back as you can get it. That's gonna be the strongest part. Little cuts will cut through. Um, 
it tires out your hand. It hurts after a little while if you're doing a whole lot of cuts and you start flinging random pieces at your friends and enemies near you. So like when you're doing this, you wanna be very, very careful. Also, sometimes you'll get splintery cuts so you want to be careful not to accidentally get slivers and stuff in your skin as well. I do have some sandpaper that we can sand them down so they're not quite as jagged at the end. Um, these scissors actually worked quite well to cut these. Nice. Um, are you dry yet? Oh good, you are. So now I pick this up. You can see this whole thing actually flex. So if you want to have curves, you can get curved shapes, circle shapes. You can have it bend. It bends, it flexes, it does what it wants. If you just want a flat panel, it's a flat panel. Ta-da. If you want a flat panel that bends a little bit, it's a flat panel that bends a little bit. Like you have a whole lot of like, these are very versatile pieces. If you want a bridge, if you want a rooftop, if you want a side of your house, if you, I don't know, whatever else you want, you get to decide. But that's, the general safety and use of popsicle stick sculptures.